Williams Atlanta Classic. I've been in business for seven years. I've dealt with first-time homeowners, second-time homeowners, sellers, through payments, and then we're gonna reinstall uh, a bifold closet door here. So you know the door is kind of open up. So get that on here, door here, and this could be an official bedroom, but you do have a bath. Interesting, and, and when the pandemic first started, you know, real estate in like Georgia actually was deemed essential, so I never stopped working, but a lot of real estate shut down. But we'll, so we we'll start with the real estate agent. Uh, we tend to want to work exclusively, which means, you know, we're not going to hire two or three agents. We run around and, and then whoever gets the ball last gets paid. So we tend to want to work exclusively. So you have to sign what we call. I'm going to make a suggestion to you on this. Is this is going to be pretty simple. What price point are you going to probably, are you going to put this at? I can feel about this, but I don't know what the neighborhood will support this or not. But you know, this wall, but then you got to deal with the tile, so then it could cost you. You know, you could get rid of this wall, you could pony wall that. This this cabinet right here, I'd probably pull that out and put one of those little 24 inch store bought because you don't have any underspaced mm -hmm. toilet. I, I might go with a um, ADA elongated just to give it that look. Uh, you can reglaze it and it'll look brand new. But you know, it's, it's all, I tell you what, reglazing a tub's almost as expensive as doing it. You can. You can reglaze them and they look brand new, mm -hmm. um, but it's almost as expensive replacing the tub. It really is. It's it's it's, all, it's a, just a notch below. A little bit about the cleaning. What I do, I clean the the, the whole kitchen, the whole house. Is it is a empty house, and I'm getting ready for someone to move in. So I'm starting in the kitchen. I'm going to clean out the cabinets, as you can see. It needs some work done. The stove inside the oven. Oh, not too bad, not too bad. But I'm gonna clean all of this out. So this is the outside. I'm gonna do all I can to do out here. Sweep it up, clean it up, make it look nice. Uh, clean all this out, the tub, the towel, the sink. I'm gonna get it looking nice. With a bath in the closet, I'm gonna do the windows, dust the glass, wipe out the window seal, do the hot dusting, clean up the fan. You need to get your closet in here for sure. Probably. What was there to begin with? They're not brass, but they're um, they're a little dated. But brand, all brass is gonna go. You, you know we. Here's have another water. room. Same thing for this one. Silly fan. The window, the window sill, the corners up in the floor and the closet. It's gonna be all dusted up and cleaned up. Just a little same thing for this white thing because this is an empty house, so there's no furniture here. So it's an easy turnaround. Clean all this out. Um, let's see. Not bad. Here's another bathroom, same thing. Same thing for the other bathrooms. I'm gonna clean it. <laughs> There's no tub in here, just a sink and a toilet. So there you have it. All right, so again, this is Horace Ridley with Keller Williams Atlanta Classic. Um, before you start your renovation project, it's good to uh, secure a, a good contractor. Uh, you definitely want to check references. Um, if you can visit, uh, properties that they previously worked on, talk to people who may be in the property they worked on to see how it goes. Um, even, you know, famous people just recently on, I think, Magnolia TV, you know, one of the homes that was renovated, you know, the owners complained and they pulled the show off, off TV. So again, not everyone who says they're contractors work, it's worth working on your home. So what you want to do is get with the, with the project coordinator and make sure that you both go over everything that, that you plan to have happen to their house. I'm sorry, not to their house, but to your house. What you want to avoid is project creep. Project creep is, oh, well, you know, we, we decided to do this, and so it's going to cost this much extra. You need to indicate in the contract, um, in a written agreement, verbal does not count, that any additions to the signed contract requires your approval. Uh, you don't want to, to go into project creep um, because obviously it can cost you more money and it just can uh, take a situation and make it uh, adversarial. So you definitely want to avoid that. 
So in this particular property in Stone Mountain, uh, we have some what appears to be some water stains on the car on the ceiling that happened after, well, after it happened before the roof was replaced, but just never kind of cleaned up. So we're gonna get those taken care of. Um, we're gonna replace some carpet in the bedrooms, add a closet door. Uh, the floor in the kitchen eating area is kind of uneven and mismatched. So we're gonna pull that out, put down some luxury vinyl tile, which is a very nice tile. Um, we're going to uh, sand uh, uh, and paint the kitchen cabinets, make them look up to date and fresh. Uh, but there are stainless steel appliances there. We're going to put it a stainless steel vent hood just to make it look good and more appealing. Also, we're going to um, take care um, the bathroom. There's like in a drop ceiling tile, a little mold, probably cause some moisture in the bathroom. So we're going to get that taken care of and you know remediate any mold that that's found. Um, in addition, you no, know, we'll do some painting. We are sorry, we're going to paint the inside of the house and do some touch up on the ceiling as needed. So it's not a like a gut job renovation, but just going and do the work that's going to make the house seem fresh, modern, up to date, and more appeasing to buyers. Now, uh, once your project's all said and done, you want to make sure that it looks clean. <laughs> so hire a good cleaning service. Uh, you know, one thing I see a lot in homes is ring around toilets um, or <laughs> uh, what's going to be left over in toilets. So you want to make sure, you know, because I, I don't care how hot the house is, it just leaves a, a, a bad feeling with buyers. So you want to make sure the toilets are clean. Another big thing is vents. Um, a lot of people don't vacuum their vents. And if you walk into a house and see a really dusty, dirty vent, it just makes you think that, boy, well, they couldn't clean the vents. What else haven't they done? So, you know, vacuum cleaning the vents, you know, cleaning their bathrooms, uh, and, and, and the kitchen, those are really kind of important. And you just want to make sure you get someone who's going to really clean it and, and make it look good and smell good. And if the house is vacant, you can place some of the automatic air fresheners in there to kind of keep it, a, give it a nice, you know, fresh smell. Uh, one thing actually done studies on that pleasant aromas make people think more fondly of the house. Um, don't get too cute with, with the scents because some people can be agitated <laughs> or, or even possibly allergic to it. So something, you know, nice, neutral uh, uh, scent, you know, something like vanilla, you know, don't don't get artsy fartsy with it. Um, but just to to make people um, really enjoy their showing of the house. The, the key to, to selling a home is you want people talking about the house, not what's wrong within the house. And then, and then once again, and once it's all cleaned up, then you're ready to take pictures and go to market.